I'm Mary Poplin with Boris Effects, and today I'm going to show you a quick breakdown of a complex remove project. In this case, removing all the cars from this bridge drone shot. To make this quick to watch, I have compressed this half hour demo into a few minutes. Your render times will vary. So to get started, we will apply our Mocha Pro effect and launch Mocha Pro. Because we are removing multiple cars, we have the potential for a slower remove. The Remove module calculates every layer in a remove, so the more layers you have, the slower the remove is. To address this, we roto all the cars in a separate Mocha file and export them as a single pass of rendered mats. We simply track with X-Blinds, adjust the roto as needed, and then go to File, Export Rendered Shapes. Name the mat layer as you see fit, and export. Back in our host, you'll need to make a new layer and drop a new Mocha Pro plugin on top. Launch Mocha Pro and create a new XSpline Anywhere. Now go to the mat clip in Layer Properties and using the drop down menu, select Import. Select your rendered mat pass and hit OK. Mocha will now convert your mat pass to a Mocha mat layer and your XSpline will vanish. Now we can track the background. However, if I track a large swath of the background with no thought to the planar data, I will get poor results. Watch what happens when I track this shape. It looks like I have good tracking data. But when I go to the Remove module and hit Render, you can see my results are less than stellar. This means I have to create tracks based on the planar geography of this shot. So I will track the bridge by planes. Think of this as tracking each face of a low poly model. I will avoid tracking the water because it is reflective, and I will have to be conscious of occlusions. I will layer my tracks over the top of one another, keeping foreground planes at the top of the layer pile and BG planes at the bottom of the layer pile. This automatically holds out top shapes from the tracks below. If I arrange my surface tools roughly to the geometry of the bridge, I can see immediately what the tracks are doing. This allows me to track multiple objects at once. If I find the track is slipping for one layer, I can always come back and adjust that layer individually once all my tracks are done. You will need to adjust your background shapes to be larger than your foreground shapes so that the remove is successful. I'm using the Link Layers tool in order to hook these layers together. Once my tracks are complete, I can select my car layer and select the Remove module. The gear will automatically become visible on my car layer and I can render forwards to preview my shot before heading back into my host. You do not have to render in Mocha, but previews can be faster in the plugin. Notice how much better my results look now compared to when I used one large shape for the background. That is because of the way the Remove tool works. It looks at all of your shapes and the correlating tracking data to rebuild the scene pixel by pixel. Geometry matters. Once my Remove render is complete, I can either export the Remove using the File Export Rendered Clip dialog and choosing my Save options, or I can simply render the Remove to the timeline in our host by selecting the Render checkbox in the Mocha plugin interface and selecting Remove from the Render drop-down menu. If you can think of objects in a geometrically planar way, you can really start to tackle complex shots like this one. For simple scenes with only one or two planes behind the object you're trying to remove, you don't have to worry much about geometry. For complex scenes like this one, you need to think about how the background is moving and isolate areas that move differently than one another for best results. If you have any questions, I am Mary Poplin, and you can find us at www.borisfx.com.